it's time for round three of trying on all of my handmade items. Hello friends, welcome or welcome back. First things first, if you are new around here, you won't notice this, but if you've been around before, you will know I cut my hair. Um, this is something new for me. It's the shortest I've ever had it. And also, um, to be honest, this is the only thing I'm doing today where people are going to see me. So I didn't really feel like putting anything in it, any kind of product to style it. So it's probably going to flip around back and forth and get a little bit wild looking with all of the trying on that I'm going to do. And we're just, we're just gonna, we're just gonna ignore it. Okay. We're gonna laugh together at my silly hair and we're gonna ignore it. Anyway, I am back with another round of handmaids that I have to try on um, and see what I wanna keep, what I wanna get rid of. I'm once again wearing my little tank top because that worked out really great for me last time. It made editing so much easier and it made it, it made me more likely to want to film another one of these because it wasn't such a pain in the butt. So I think, if I counted correctly, today I think I grabbed 18 things um, and that's because I have 15 to try on and three that I think I'm just going to show you. Let's, let's start with, I did find a sweater that I didn't include last time. I was trying to get all of my sweaters out of the way and I missed one. So I brought that in and then I have some tees and tanks and yeah, let's get going. This is, oh, which one's the front? I'm so bad at this. I really need to start getting better at, yeah, okay, there's the, my end. I need to get better at like making the front and back of things more um, like clear and distinct. Uh, so, this is my Dapio sweater, and this is by Sunhi Knits. And I'm trying to find it. There it is. Sorry, trying to find all the information on my Ravelry. So I used a US 10 needle for this, and I used Swan's Island washable wool collection in a sport weight yarn, which was... Um, pretty much like an undyed yarn. It was white. And then I used, uh, it was in the colorway Snowy Owl, but it was basically undyed white. And I used um, the Little Wolf Knits Buoy, which is a lace weight Surrey Alpaca uh, in the color Can You Show Me One Thing. And I had only two skeins of each of those yarns. So I had to do some modifying of the pattern. I did not write it down. I did not write it down, but let's see what I can remember. Firstly, um, no clue if I got gauge. I think I got pretty darn close, but I don't think I was exactly on gauge. Um, the pattern calls for long sleeves. I obviously made short sleeves because I was running out of yarn. Um, it also calls for, oh, I have an alarm that's going to go off in like two seconds. Well, 22 seconds to be exact. So let's just turn that off and I'll deal with it later. Um, I have laundry going and I don't want to forget it. Uh, so the pattern also calls for an optional, like decorative pearl stitch that you can like seam up and then make it look like, like seams. Um, did not do that because I... I never do those. I have no time for that. Um, and I think I just did like a regular bind off instead of anything fancy because I didn't feel like doing um, any kind of tubular bind off with Surrey. It was just, eh, I didn't feel like it. So yeah, I love this sweater. Love it so much. It gets a lot of compliments every time I wear it. But I'm really, really hot right now. So it's going to come off. This is staying. Next t-shirt I wanted to show really quickly is something that is, the pattern is not even out yet, but I really just wanted to get all of the t-shirt style 
things tried on and be able to fold them all and put them together in my closet so I wanted to include this one in this video. This is my um, slip on your shoulder. This is a this is a design by me. It is I guess by the time you see this I will have just started the testing period for it. Um, I used Fiber Spates Vivacious DK in the colorway denim. So it is DK weight. Um, yeah, that's it. I love it. It's staying. I mean, the pattern's not even released yet. So like this stamp sample is 100% staying. But I just wanted to get all of the things in this category finally done and dusted. There's sorry stuck to my nose. There we go. Okay. Next up, I actually went through my, um, I have a lot of handmade stuff in my, or most of my handmade stuff that I do frequently wear in my closet on some shelves, but I have a drawer full of handmade things that I basically have put in the drawer because I never ever wear them, but I didn't want to part with them and it's time. So today I finally grabbed a bunch of things out of that drawer. Um, this is the, I cannot remember the name of this. This is the Spin Raglan by Andrea Mowry. Um, I used Lion Brand Low Tide, which I'm pretty sure is discontinued. I used the colorway Driftwood. Um, and it, this is fun. It's fun. It's like stocking it on the body, garter on the sleeves. Um, I used a US 10. I have no idea what needle this actually calls for, but I know that I made this in the time when I was knitting so, so, so tight. So I usually had to go a lot of needle sizes. Um, okay. I do have a note here. Look at me go that I added some length before splitting for the sleeves. I don't, I didn't write down how much. Um, and I basically just went to ribbing immediately after the, um, after splitting for the sleeves, uh, I just picked up and did some ribbing to make it a short sleeve because I believe this is also a long sleeve pattern. Um, I am getting rid of this because one, the yarn is kind of itchy. It's acrylic uh, or polyester or something. And it has like, I don't know, it has this like shiny thing in it. It's not like sparkle. I don't know. It just has this like kind of plasticky thread that runs through it and it makes me itchy and uncomfortable. And also this is just something that I have discovered for myself with Andrew Mallory's patterns. I like them, but they don't fit me without me doing modifications. They're just, I have a different shape body than Andrea does. And, um, so I have to do some modifications. And for this, I didn't other than adding, trying to add some length before splitting for the sleeves, but it's just still like, her patterns are just too tight in the armpit for me, for my comfort level. I don't like them. Um, I don't like the way that they fit without doing modifications. I can, when I made this, I wasn't a competent enough knitter to make adjustments to make patterns fit me. Now I feel more confident in that, but yeah, this is gonna go because I just, I never wear it, I don't like it. Um, it's well made. It's like a, it's a nice sweater. And I also, I do think that it's a good one to pass on to someone because, um, because it is machine washable and dryable. Like that's always really nice to be able to pass things along to people. Uh, and they don't have to worry about how to care for them. So that is the first thing that we have going today. Let's see. We do have a couple of other t-shirt style things in here. Okay, let's do this since it's in my hand. This is another design by me. This is the crew neck tee. And I actually made this a while ago and I have it tech edited and I have not done anything with it. I know, I know. What am I doing? What am I doing? Um, this I made with Whimsy Stitches, the sorry on my nose. I made this with Whimsy Stitches yarn, uh, Superwash DK 
in the colorway Mardi Gras Parade. And this is a really fun, um, let's see if I can show you. It has these floats that happen in the ribbing and it's super cute. And it's just a basic tee with just some like tiny little detail of um, floats in the ribbing to make it a little special. And I am keeping this one obviously because I haven't even released the pattern yet or even put out a testing haul and probably this is going to get pushed a little bit further I think because I think at this point in the year it's really too late to be doing a t-shirt for um for a release I just don't I don't think it's gonna I don't think people are gonna be interested so I'm going to push this out a little bit it's not going anywhere I still have it it's all ready to go as soon as I'm ready to put it into a testing haul but I actually think I'm going to make a second sample because I think I would really like a basic tee like this in a solid color. So I think I'm gonna make um, a sample in like a tonal. And once I do that, I might pass this one along because I don't love the way that the pooling happened on this. And like, could I fix it? Yes. Will I? No, no, I'm just, I'm not going to. So I think I would rather, like this is such a quick make, it's um, DK weight yarn, but it's knit at a pretty loose gauge and um, it goes so fast. So I feel like I might just make another one and uh, take that opportunity to make any adjustments within the pattern if I decide I need to. And then I can pass this one along to someone else. But for right now, it's staying. Another t-shirt that is absolutely sticking around is my low tide tee which I just finished quite recently and you know what this has gotten this is why I need to do this because this has gotten buried in my closet and I have barely worn it this season because I have barely seen it because it got like stuffed underneath other things so this is the low tide tee by Brie of the Little Wolf Knits and I used Wonderland Yarns and Fab Just Fibers Mad Hatter Base, which is actually a sport weight base. Um, this pattern is written for fingering weight. I used a sport weight base in the colorway Giggle Juice, which was a um, local yarn store day 2024 exclusive colorway. And then I used some purple scraps that I had sitting around for, oh, there we go, I got it. I finally got, I think I got all the surrey that was stuck to my nose. Um, I used some purple scraps for the ties because I used literally every inch of this um, giggle juice. Um, I used a US 5, which I believe is what the pattern calls for, but my gauge was so, 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 so off because I was using this really plump sport weight that I ended up making the smallest size that the pattern has. Um, and I think it fits just fine. I like it a lot. I need to put this in a more prominent spot in my closet because I love this and I really like wearing it and I haven't worn it basically at all. I wore it <laughs> like three times in the first week I think after I finished making it and then it got buried and I haven't worn it since which is ridiculous. I love this. It's not going anywhere. Okay so next up we have some we have a couple of duplicates where I made things multiple times and we're going to transition from tea like objects <laughs> into some more tank things. Um, this is the first version I made of the um, Palm Your Knits by Knitting Tipsy. Chelsea of Knitting Tipsy and I cannot tell you what yarn I used for this so I need to look it up. Sorry. Okay I used Emma's Yarn Slubby Slub Base in the colorway Sugar Coated and then I used Kingdom Works Yarn Sock Base. Kingdom Works um, was a local Connecticut dyer and they do not dye anymore and this was in the colorway Zen. Um, and I just thought that these colors worked perfectly together. There is this little bit of kind of a tealy green that pops up in 
the slub yarn and I love this. I love this. I have no idea what size I made. Sorry. I used a US 4. Um, yeah. I don't think I made any modifications other than potentially adding some length because that's what I always do. Um, I, oh, I have a little bit of notes, but I don't know really how they translate into the pattern. I did 18 rounds for my ribbing and I knit 20 rounds in between increases. And then I knit 50 rounds between this, like for the body, between the sleeve and the bottom ribbing. So I don't know if that helps. I don't think my row gauge matched the pattern because my row gauge is typically pretty short um, compared to most people. So I don't know. Anyway, this one's sticking around, but I made a second one of these recently and let's chat about this if I can figure out what is the back. There we go. Okay, so I made this again, palm your knits, um, and this is in some of my own hand dyed yarn. Oh no, I like this. Oh shoot. Oh, okay. Oh, what do I do? I like this more than I remembered. So I made this in just some uh, hand dyed yarn that I was kind of playing around with. Um, and it is not a official colorway or anything. It's just, I was messing around. I had two skeins of this purple. I thought it was pretty and I made a palm your knits. And now I'm like, what do I, okay, I'm gonna go look in the mirror one second. Okay, okay, no, I am. I'm gonna pass this along. I'm gonna pass it along because I don't need two of these right now. Um, I love, love, love my first one and this one is really nice and I like that it's all one color and I really, really like the yarn. <sighs> but I think I'm gonna pass it along. I think I'm gonna pass this along because I just, I don't wear it. I don't need it. I have so many other things. It's not something that I'm passionate about. Um, and I think that's what I kind of have to start doing is being actually passionate about the things that I'm keeping because um, there are just too many. There are just too many. So I think I'm gonna pass this one along. There we go. We're gonna say goodbye and it's gonna be okay. Two things down. Okay, let's do, let's grab something that um, doesn't, I'm not going to try on. Okay, this is a little thing. I used Knitting for Olive Soft Silk Mohair in the color white Dark Mustard, which I love. I think it's really pretty, but I only had one ball and I had never worked with mohair before. So basically what I did was I cast on a bunch of stitches that kind of fits around my neck. I mean, it's it's not, it's pretty, the cast on is pretty tight. It's not like, it's not comfortable. Um, and I literally just knit in the round and then I would like increase after a little while and I would knit in the round and increase after a little while. And then at one point I just kind of like bound off some stitches for sleeves and then I knit in the round until I ran out of yarn. Um, and I was honestly just practicing working with mohair. Um, because I had never used it before and so I wasn't sure what it was work what it was like to work with a uh, lace weight yarn. I wasn't sure if I would like mohair and see how it would like feel against my skin, see how my hands liked working with it. So I literally just knit this random thing and I have no idea what my goal was. I just like didn't want to knit a scarf or a hat so I just made this. So this is going. I don't know if anyone will ever find any use for it, but it's gonna go because I've, it makes, it's just, it's just a thing I need. Um, okay, here, let's see, let's do this. This I made recently and um, I'm gonna pass this along, I already know that because I just don't need it, I just don't need it. Uh, and someone else would probably enjoy it. Um, this is, uh, who, what's the name of it? I can't remember. 
I already forgot the name of it. The Rewind Tank. This is the Rewind Tank by Claire of Perfectly Knotted. And I used Barocco Zinnia in the colorway Onyx. Um, I used a US 7 for this and I made no modifications to the pattern. Um, this is just a simple standard tank. Um, and it's great. It's a great pattern. It, you know, Claire's, I, I always love Claire's patterns. Claire is great. I love testing for Claire. I love, um, oh, I just realized there was something I meant to grab today. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, I love making Claire's patterns, but I don't need this. I don't need it. Someone else will enjoy it. That's it. I'm going to get rid of it. I, that's all. Not much to say, other than I just don't need it. So that was easy peasy. Let's add that to the pile. Doing good so far. I think we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay. We have five keeps and four goes so far. Um, okay. Let's see. Oh, we have Oh my, we have like mostly goes in the pile now. Oh, I did grab what I wanted to. Okay, cool. This is what I said I, this is what I thought I meant to grab and I thought I forgot it, but I did grab it. It was just hiding. Okay, this, this is the love is love crop. I think, what is the name of it? I should have done these in some kind of order so that I didn't have to keep scrolling up and down and up and down and up and down in my Ravelry, but whatever. Yes, this is the Love is Love Crop by Courtney of I Love Tinder Box. And I made this, I might have this on backwards. I don't care, whatever. Um, it is not backwards hang on hang on let's just scooch this around yeah that's the front that's the front okay I made this with Lion Brand Comfy Cotton Blend in the color Sugar Cane which I think is discontinued now um I am this looks so absurd on me like it, this just looks really bad. This looks really bad on me. Um, and it, yeah, it doesn't like, it, it looks really bad on me. There's absolutely no chance that I will ever fix it because it has slip stitch ribbing and that is the absolute bane of my existence. Um, but yeah, it just, I look ridiculous. Um, and I am saying goodbye to this. We are even. We have five keeps and five goes. Let's keep going. Um, this is another one. Let's do this while we're here. Um, this is another one I'm getting rid of because, well, I could very haphazardly put it on. Um, this is, I'm just gonna hold this. I'm just gonna hold it back here because I don't, I don't feel like tying things. Um, This is the Lotus Top by um, Dominique of Namaste and Crochet. I use Lion Brand Re-Up in the color Sky. Um, I wrote in the notes that I don't know what size hook I use, so that's not helpful. Um, I absolutely never wear this because I have decided I just refuse to now make and or wear crochet stuff that requires lacing up. I just, I can't, I can't do it. No, it's just too annoying. I would like need my husband to help me wear this. And also, um, it doesn't fit me right. So like it, I think I, I've, I've never worn it. I've never worn it because it doesn't fit me properly. So that's going to go away. And some, I don't know, teeny bopper somewhere will probably <laughs> enjoy it. I sound so old. I sound so old. I really just, I made this because 
everyone raves about Namaste and Crochet's patterns and I wanted to be part of the fun and I, I did not enjoy making it really. I never wear it because I don't, this is just not my, it's not, it's not for me. So that's okay. That is going away. Oh my gosh, okay. I literally, the, all this left in the pile, I have one thing that I wanna keep and everything else I think I'm gonna get rid of. Okay, let's just go, let's go with this first. This is, this is ridiculous. This is also, okay, I'll throw it on, I'll throw it on. This is the Ripple Bralette DK, I think. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh, it's inside out. I have it inside out, my end's sticking out right there. I am not fixing it, we can just deal with it. Um, we're just gonna, we're just gonna leave it. This is the Ripple Bralette DK by Jessie Made Designs. I used a US 9 needle and I used Jade Sapphire, Eight ply Mongolian cashmere in the color blue stone. Um, I was trying to make a bralette and get as far as I could with 100 yards of yarn. I mean, technically, technically, I succeeded, but I'm gonna get rid of this. Um, Yeah, I did a whole bunch of modifications to this uh, because I was trying to get as far as I could with as little yarn as I could and I didn't do the bottom ribbing and all that kind of stuff. And um, it does not fit me. It clearly does not fit me. I mean, you just saw that. So it is incredibly inappropriate for me to wear this <laughs> without a tank top on underneath. So it's gonna go and hopefully someone much smaller than me will um, find some joy in it maybe, or they'll just take it apart and use the yarn. That works too. Uh, okay, this I do really like, but I never wear it anymore and I, I don't know why, but I think I'm gonna get rid of it. At least I think so before putting it on. So we'll see how it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel comfortable. I feel comfortable in that decision. Okay, um, this is the Granville Tank by Pacific Knot, and I used Malabrigo Yarn Verano, which I believe is a cotton? Yes, 100% Pima cotton, and I used the colorway Fall. Um, I knit the body a little bit longer than the pattern states because that's pretty much what I always do. And it's cute. I wore this a ton, ton the summer that I first made it. And I just don't wear it anymore. Um, I don't actually think that these colors really do much for me. Um, it's super pretty, but I love the kind of like, I don't know, it just looks like paint splatter kind of, um, but I don't wear it anymore, so I'm gonna get rid of it. And also the straps have stretched out quite a bit. I'm sure I could very easily deal with that, but I just don't want to. Don't want to. Someone else can deal with it or maybe they won't need to because it'll fit them perfectly. Okay, let's do a couple of vesty things. <laughs> this is, I can't remember the name of this pattern. Central Ave? Is this the Central Ave cabled crop? I know it's cabled crop. Can't, it, I'm pretty sure it's Central Ave. Uh, yeah, Central Ave cabled crop. This is a pattern by Brie of the Little Wolf Knits and I tested this. I made the 44 inch, which gives me eight inches of positive ease and I used Big Twist Party yarn in the color Jelly Beans, and I love the color. Super, super fun. But I think I'm gonna get rid of this um, because I just, I don't, this is really not, I feel like now with my shorter hair, it kind of looks better, but like, this is just not my style. It's just not my style. And yeah, I know it's meant to be like layered over things, but even layered over something, it's just not my style. I tried 
to wear it so many times and then when I put it on I just don't feel good not like in a not like the pattern is bad or it fits me poorly or anything like I, it fits me exactly how it's supposed to and it's cute and whatever but like it's just not my um aesthetic not my style so I'm gonna pass it along to someone who does have th that style that this calls for I had a, a lot of fun making it it was really fun um to do these cables and stuff but I'm gonna pass it along and then also in the <laughs> last fall I was like really in this like slip over layering piece cables kind of mood and I thought that they would all look good on me and I then I made them and I was like oh they don't look good on me or okay you might think they look good on me but I don't feel like myself in them so um like it's not I don't I don't think I look bad I just don't think I look like me so this is the warrior slipover by uh, Why is it not linked? Barley and Flax by Barley and Flax. I do remember that. I just don't know why it's not linked on my Ravelry page. I will have to fix that later. Um, I used this was this is also like a super fast knit, but a kind of torturous one because I used a US 15 and a US 17 needle and it hurt my hands so much, even though it was so fast. I did not like using needles in those size. So those sizes. So um, I used Big Twist Hush yarn in the color Evergreen and this is honestly so soft. I would like, I would love to get more of this yarn and make something else out of it, um, but this yarn is so, 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 so soft and squishy and I love it. Um, but I just, um, I don't like this. I don't like it. I don't like the way it looks on me. I think I also, I don't, I don't know. I just, I don't like it. I don't really need to give an explanation other than I don't like the way I look in it or I just don't feel like me. So this one also going. Okay, we're almost there. I know, Shan. I know. I know. Oh my gosh, we're getting quite a pile over here of stuff to get rid of. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're at ten things. We're at ten things we're getting rid of so far. Okay. This is my West Coast top. I made this in a vlog, I think earlier this year. Yeah, it wouldn't have been last year. It was earlier this year. Um, okay. It's like a little crooked, but whatever. It's fine. I, I wouldn't wear this over a tank, but yeah. So this is my West Coast top which is a pattern again by Brie of the Little Wolf Knits. I did a vlog where I made this. Uh, I used long dog yarn, sock weight, um, in the color Wuthering Heights. And I also tried reading Wuthering Heights in the vlog. I was not successful. Um, I used a US 6 for this, which I think I meant to use a 5. And I think after I finished making the whole thing, I was like, wait a second. I think I used the wrong needle for this entire thing, but that's fine. It's fine. It fits. It still fits and that's fine. Um, I did obviously no straps and I chose to do a, um, an opening in the back. And then as soon as I finished the opening, I did entirely ribbing down the length of it. Um, and I think I'm going to get rid of this. I think I'm going to pass it along. I never wear it. I absolutely never wear it. Someone else would probably really love it. Um, would love wearing it in the summertime and I just don't. So that's that. I'm gonna get rid of it. It fits me great. I like the pattern. I like the choose your own adventure-ness of it, but um, I just don't wear it. And like we mentioned before, I need to feel a very strong connection to my creations in order to keep them now and this is just not one so I'm gonna pass this along see if there's anyone that I know that would like it and 
Yeah. Moving on, I have another twofer. So, um, let's do this. Okay. Let's do this in the order that I made them. So this is, this is the Malibu Barbie Bralette by Chelsea of Knitting Tipsy. And I made two. And now I'm thinking... Okay, no. I was like, have I, is, have I made duplicates of every single one of Chelsea's patterns that I've made? No, I have not. There are a couple, there are two. There are two of her patterns that I haven't made duplicates of, but I've made duplicates of a lot <laughs> of Chelsea's patterns, which is, which says something. It says how much um, I enjoy wearing them and how much I enjoy making them. So I tested this for Chelsea and this was the first one that I made and I used Sorella Yarn Nylon Sock in the color Casita. Um... I added two rows of length to the front and back panels for this. I mean, that's not that much. It's like an inch-ish, a little less than an inch. And I chained 35 for my straps. Those are the notes that I have written down here. Um, I, oh, let me pull up my second one while I am at it. Sorry. I made this second one in the Periwinkle Sheep Purpose in the color Gold Rush. Um, okay, so the only thing I did differently on these two is I connected the straps at a slightly different spot on these two um, tanks, bralettes, whatever you want to call them. So I think that I am going to pass on this one. I do love this color and I was saving this yarn for a very special project. And I mean, this was special. I really loved making it, but I made a second one and I'll throw this one on and show you the difference in them. They really, they don't look that different on, to be honest, but it, it's a different, it just feels different. Okay, it just feels different. So this one, I connected the straps at a different spot but also so the thing with this one is I layer this one all the time in the winter actually I have layered this one too I have I layer this one over like a white long sleeve shirt and this one I usually lay over black but I've done black and white and I think maybe even maybe blue too I just I don't know I have nothing against either of these. I love them. I just really don't think that my closet needs two of them. So I think I'm going to pass this one along, even though I love this yarn. I love this yarn so much. The point is I wear this one all year long. I don't really wear this one as often. So plus I just need space. I just, I need space. I don't know what point I'm trying to prove. They're both great. They both fit me. Um, but I think just that little tweak of changing where the straps hit makes me feel... Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> makes me feel uh, more secure. So look at how pretty this is though. Look at how pretty. Anyway, someone's gonna love this. So, oh my God, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 things. Oh no. They were all folded so nicely. Okay, we did it. We did it. I gotta wrap this up quick, cause it's all gonna fall down. <sighs> okay. 12 things. 12 things <laughs> going out. This was good. This was really fun. I kept six. Yeah, cause I had 18 to begin. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's so good. Okay, this was great. I feel really productive. I can't wait for next time. I hope I can get rid of just as much next time, to be completely honest. And also there are so many awesome things in this pile that people are gonna be really, really happy to own. So that feels good to pass those things along and get these amazing patterns out there into the world on people's bodies. Okay, until next time, take care of you and I'll see you later. Bye.